I also realized that I'm baking a cake and talking about my boyfriend a lot. If that isn't like super housewifey, then I don't know what is. Hey guys, and welcome to my very first baking slash cooking video on this channel. Today I'm going to be baking a birthday cake for my boyfriend Bailey. Mine may not come out very aesthetic, but it will be full of love. And at the same time, I thought it'd be cool to talk about my relationship because I have been in one for almost five years. So I do have some things to share. Basically, I just came up with a bunch of questions that I normally get asked by my friends and family when it comes to my relationship. And I like to share them with everyone. So you guys can stop asking. Also, do you guys notice how the red on my shirt is like the same red of this bowl? This was not a coincidence. Okay, let's get into it. So the very first step in baking a cake is to Google how to do it. Vanilla extract is hella expensive, but I read on the internet that you can use imitation vanilla flavor. So basically, one tablespoon of vanilla extract would equal two tablespoons of this imitation vanilla flavor. So now I'm gonna tack it with a whisk. So how do we meet? It's really funny, Bailey and I actually get into little arguments over the details of what actually went down what, during the time we got together. I think it's because it was so long ago and there were so many events and emotions. Neither of us really experienced it the same, so we don't have the same like sequence in our brains. But when we met, it's indisputable. So I was the president of UC Irvine's running club. He want, wanted to join a club and he wanted to know where practices were. So he reached out to me on Facebook. So we met in person not too long after that during practice and we didn't hit it off right away. Um, there was no like, there was no like spark or anything, but I could tell, you know, that he was interested in me. So we kind of went back and forth for like six months before we made it official. And we've been together ever since. Second egg. It's starting to smell good. The recipe calls for three eggs, but since I'm making a smaller size, I'm just using two eggs. So hopefully it's had the desired result I'm looking for still. So I'm gonna pour that all in here. I realize that I do not have like a really small cake pan, but um, this is the smallest size I have. I guess we're just gonna go with it. So now I'm preheating my toaster ovens, air slash air fryer. How do I do that? So while we're waiting for the cake to bake, I thought it'd be a good time to answer the next question. So we started a relationship when I was just about to turn 20 and he was 21. So we've kind of been together for our entire early 20s. I feel like it's really deeply ingrained into American culture that your first partner is definitely not going to be your last that like in your teens and your 20s you have to have a series of partners before you know finding the one so i kind of thought that there was no way that my first relationship was going to end up being a really long-term relationship i must admit i did have some doubt over it just because we weren't doing what society was saying that we should be doing 
But over the years, I've also learned to ignore that noise because love is love and he makes me happy. So here we are. So I think it's communication. There are a lot of important things, but I think communication is what set up the framework for um, the rest of your relationship. It's what creates trust. It's what creates respect. We're definitely still working on that. And I think we'll always kind of be working on it. Um, but it's part of the fun, you know? It's really interesting to find out how another person reacts to a certain situation or how you react towards a certain situation and try to find a solution through it. I think it's been long enough. Let's check on the cake. Okay guys, I have taken the cake out of the oven and it is cooked and put it through the toothpick test and the toothpick came out clean so i'm just gonna like cut the top layer off so there's a flat surface for the buttercream to go around so let's let it rest for a little bit and do the buttercream while we wait So I was planning to do this final question while mixing the buttercream, but since my parents are home and sitting nearby in the living room, I figured it would just be way more comfortable for everyone if I do this on voiceover. Or like this. So if you guys know me in real life or if you watch any of my videos, you can tell that I'm a type A big planner. It's in my nature to just plan. However, I try to stop myself from getting too carried away when planning our future. Just because so many things can just like randomly come in and fuck up your plan. Like Kovic, to name a more recent example. We do know that when he graduates, we want to move in together. And once we do, we want to adopt dogs. Honestly, becoming dog owners is like a really big deal for us because both of us have always wanted a dog but weren't allowed to have one when we were younger. And then, and then maybe, maybe in the far distant future where I am and feel like an adult and we are both financially and mentally ready, we, we can buy a house and get married. Oh God, I said the M word, I feel old. Then again, the world might end as we know it and we all die. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say this with a straight face. I just, I don't think I'm mature enough to talk about this. <laughs> In all seriousness, I really love him and I hope it goes well. I'm gonna cringe so hard when I watch this later. She'd be a bit flat. She tastes really good though, but oh my god. It looks like she looks like bread. It's like a bread bowl. I feel like it doesn't look good at all. And I really want to make it look nice.